guys i look so rough i've literally just finished a 12 hour shift but that is me done that is a wrap guys that is my last shift before maternity leave ah we're finished i'm having a baby oh my god when did this happen but yeah obviously it's not going to be like the first time i'm not going to be resting till baby arrives because i've got a toddler to look after um but yeah i am glad to see the back of the 12 hour shift till i'm not pregnant anymore um so yeah february 2023 i will be back hopefully with a lot more energy than what i have now um but yeah this is the start of my first week of maternity leave guys so i will catch you tomorrow Good morning guys, it's my first day officially of maternity leave um, and we've got the family around today because it's Steve's birthday and it's Easter Sunday. So I'm not going to vlog too much today because we're going to have afternoon tea in a minute. I've just set the table up, it's a lovely day, we're just going to sit in the garden um, and do a little Easter egg hunt for Joel. My hair's gone flat already. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go down and finish setting up and I'll probably just put like some video clips in but yeah i'm not going to vlog too much today and then me steve and joel are going to the farm tomorrow so i'll probably catch up with you guys then i'm gonna let the sun shine in the day i'm trying to make this darkness go away i'll paint with colors and i'll sing until my lungs give out Gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly starts to fade feels like things are gonna go my way i'm gonna let the sun shine in the day what are you up to <laughs> whoopsie <laughs> i mean that's one thing to do with a birthing ball are you having fun are you having fun? <laughs> you little nutter. <laughs> what are you doing? You, Joel Finley Roo, are a little nutter. Aren't you? <laughs> Joel, stay down here with Daddy. I'm going to go and get you some clothes. Morning, guys. It is. I don't even know what day it is i think it's tuesday yeah it's tuesday i'm just gonna take um joel's oh my god i'm so out of breath i've just run up the stairs i'm just gonna take joel's blackout blinds down because his room is very dark that's better let there be light um what's the time it is 20 to 10 we are gonna go swimming in a minute so i'm probably gonna leave just after 10 um it's booked for half 10 i haven't actually taken him swimming on my own it feels like the longest time. I think I'm just like, oh, I'm so out of breath. 36 weeks pregnant tomorrow. And definitely feeling it. Um, yeah, I haven't taken him swimming on my own for ages. I think I've just been like too pregnant and it's just easier if like Steve's with us. So we've been going at the weekends, but we haven't been for, I think about three weeks and then before that it had been like a month or so since we'd been so I used to take him every week but I kind of tend to mix stuff up now because otherwise he gets like he gets bored of stuff so yeah yesterday um we had a really nice family day we went to the farm um and then we came home Joel had a nap for two hours and then we went um just to the pub for dinner um sorry I'm not completely ready yet I've done nothing with my hair um so yeah that was really nice i didn't vlog yesterday because i just feel like we don't really get many family days together because when both of us are off at the same time which isn't like every weekend um we've got stuff to do around the house and things like that so i thought i'll just like not pick up the camera just enjoy family time and yeah no it was a really nice day 
I'm actually just gonna put you down so I can get his clothes out. Um, here we are having like a no makeup day today because I'm going swimming and I can't be bothered. So I'm just gonna do something with my hair in a minute. Just get him some clothes out of his wardrobe. Um, I think I'm just gonna put him in like a tracksuit or it's actually quite nice out there. Might put him in some cycling shorts and a sweatshirt. Cause it's warm, but it's not like really warm. So I'm still kind of like, what do I put him in every day? Um, yeah so first week of maternity leave guys obviously you saw sunday we had like family round for um like easter which was really nice obviously yesterday i just said what we did yesterday today we're going swimming steve's working from home today i don't know if he's going to be here all day but he's downstairs at the moment so he's just watching joel um so yeah he's working from home today then i think this afternoon when joel wakes up from his nap if we don't play in the garden i've got like loads of easter like craft bits from his Easter box. So I think we're gonna do those because we haven't really done them yet. So he's got like a decorate your own Easter egg and he's got Easter egg painting and things like that. So we'll just get some of that stuff out and just do that when he wakes up, which will probably be about three o'clock. Then tomorrow he is going to my friend's house for the morning because she offered, because she knows I don't have childcare this week and she knows that I've got quite a lot to get done before the baby arrives. So she really kindly messaged me and said, do you want me to have Joel? And I was like, no, don't worry. Like, I feel really bad. Um, and she like literally insisted. So I'm going to drop him around there tomorrow, um, probably just for the morning. And then I'll go and pick him up for nap time because I feel bad leaving him there all day. Um, but her baby or her toddler is like the same age as Joel he's like a week older than Joel so yeah they're going to play together and then I've got my 36 week midwife appointment tomorrow afternoon so I'll probably take you along with me to that Thursday he'd normally be at my mum's but she's working extra this week because I'm not at work so um I think we're just going to go she works in a garden centre nearby so I think we're going to go in and meet her for lunch um in the cafe there um just to let Joel have a little run around, um, tire him out before nap time. Then Friday, we literally don't have any plans at the moment. So I don't know if I'll vlog. I might just do like a little boring day, but I don't want to make this vlog too long. because obviously it's like the course of a week. So I might not even vlog on Friday. And then Saturday, I've got my baby shower, but it's not like a proper baby shower. So it's not with like all of my all of my friends it's just with my nct group um obviously we have babies together the first time around and three of us are now pregnant again so one of the girls not one of the ones who's pregnant but she's really the, the one who's having joel tomorrow she's arranged like an afternoon tea for us so there's seven of us in our group three of us pregnant um the other two are due like middle to end of July so they're a bit behind me but obviously she wanted to get it in before I had the baby so we're all pregnant at the same time um really need to get some clothes out of him um yeah so we have got like a little up baby shower afternoon tea at her house which I'm so excited about I've got a new dress to wear um so I won't like properly vlog but I might just take like a few little little clips when I'm there and that will be the end of my first week of maternity leave and also Steve needs to go in the loft either tonight or at the weekend um, to get the baby stuff out because this baby has nowhere to sleep at the moment. Obviously we've got, sorry, I've got really bad reflux. Um, obviously we've got the cot in the nursery, but um, baby needs to be in with us for the first six months. So we need to get the next to me crib out of the loft, um, along with the car seat, the bath seat, the swing the bottle stuff like the prep machine and stuff like that so yeah we're going to get all of that out the loft and then I'm going to do a nest with me video next week where I clean everything set it all up and you guys can see what I'm doing to prepare for a newborn again because I kind of I think the second time around you kind of know what you used and what you didn't use so it's quite handy I guess for first time mums to watch I don't I don't know hopefully it'll be helpful anyway um so that's what I'm doing next week. But yeah, I'm going to try and get some more content filmed tomorrow morning when Joel's at my friend's. Um, like my baby names video that I still haven't got round to filming. And I might do my 37 week pregnancy update tomorrow as well. But yeah, I'll try and get some content done, which will be uploaded next week. But yeah, anyway, guys, I'm going to get some clothes out for him now. I'm going to make his bed. Um, I'm going to make my bed. 
and then pack a bag for swimming and then we will be off. So we have just got in from swimming. This one has had a little danger nap in the car. Look at my face, guys. I literally came out of the pool and my mascara was like <laughs> all under my eyes. It was so embarrassing. Obviously I didn't realize because he'd been jumping in. Should put you up here. He's got really good with us jumping in. So he stands on the side and jumps in now. I see he was doing that and it just splashed me. I've tried to rub it off, but I've still got smudges under my eyes. <laughs> so bad. I'm going to have to sort that out when he naps. But yeah, it's um, half 11, so I'm just going to make him some lunch now. You had a bunny crumpet for breakfast, darling. Should we take this out now? Wait. Dad is working, sweetheart. He's in the dining room. I'm going to make him some lunch. I think I'm just going to get a cheese twist out of the freezer um, and defrost that and then do it with some like cucumber and fruit and stuff so Mommy. thank you that's a hot cross bun darling we'll have that tomorrow for breakfast um so yeah i'm just gonna make him some lunch now and then he's gonna go down for a nap hopefully because he's just had 10 minutes in the car um and then yeah i'll probably catch up with you guys a little bit later i thought i'd just quickly show you what he's got for lunch so he's got a homemade um chicken cheese and spinach like it's like an open tart so you just get ready roll pastry Roll it all out, cover it in tomato puree, grated cheese, bit of spinach, bit of chicken. Stop putting your feet in it. Um, obviously cooked chicken, you put so I cook the chicken first and then I put it on here and then just finish it all off in the oven for 10 minutes. Then he's got some raspberries and grapes and then some carrot puffs, which he's already started eating. Should we go and put you in your high chair? But yeah, that is his lunch and then he'll have like a yogurt or something for after. So we, we have both just woken up from our naps, haven't we? Oh dear. Toddler life. Should we open it? We're going to do decorate your own Easter egg that the Easter bunny bought you in your crate, didn't he? And then you can have that as a snack. Maybe not all of it because it's half past three. So I still haven't sorted out my face, guys. I'm just literally checking out because I'm so, I'm at that stage in pregnancy where I have to nap every day when he naps. Um, otherwise, I just don't cope. So I've just had a 20 minute, Daddy. half an hour nap. No, Daddy's gone upstairs to work, darling. Should we get this out? Yeah, we're going to do this now. And then Steve finishes work at like between like five and half five. <laughs> she look awful. Oh, do you know what? We're not going anywhere, whatever. I'm just going to go and take it all off in a minute. Um, so it's not patchy. Wow. Um, we're going to make pizzas in the pizza oven outside tonight. So I'm hoping it's not going to rain. And then that is us for the evening. Um, should we get this out? You're going to want to eat this now, aren't you? You've got to decorate it first. Right, guys, I'm going to sort this out. Full stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in it it my son <laughs> you are gonna be so hyper joel can mommy have some of your egg can mommy have some of your egg no no <laughs> he's just been saying no for like the last five minutes but i share everything with you and not out of choice all the time so you think it's acceptable to steal mummy's food, but I'm not allowed any of your food. Can mummy have some of your chocolate? No, he's shaking his head. 
we're gonna fall out in a minute. Hello guys, I'm just on my way to my, I'm just gonna turn the radio down. Um, I'm just on my way to my 36 week midwife appointment. Um, so yeah, it's in five minutes, but we're almost there. I just had to wake Joel up from his nap and he is not happy. I feel so bad that you just hate waking your child up from their nap, but he has been woken up about half an hour earlier than he normally would wake from his nap. So, and he went down later because he was at his friend's for a play date. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that he will go to bed with no problems tonight because he's been a bit iffy recently. Um, so yeah, we're going to be there in a couple of minutes. Um, obviously I missed my 34 week appointment because of norovirus. Um, so I'm really excited to hear baby boy's heartbeat and um, go through the birth plan that my midwife asked me to um, write up because basically all the notes have gone online now. So she asked me to like just fill it in um, and then she'll discuss it with me like at my next appointment. Sorry, my steering wheel is probably in the way. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to go through that. Um, but yeah, we're literally about to arrive guys. So I will try and get a few clips inside maybe of like the heartbeat or something. Um, but if not, I will catch you after. To be fair, I would be fuming if someone woke me up from my nap. Oh, we've just got in for a midwife appointment. Um, I went to B&M on the way home as well to get a couple of baskets for my um, like nesting video Dad, stuff that I'm doing. Mom, Daddy. Daddy's at work, sweetheart. I'm feeling very pregnant. Um, and very sweaty. It's very hot outside, guys. But yes, the midwife appointment was fine. Surprisingly, I'm only measuring, well, not surprisingly, because I haven't felt like massive this time, to be honest. I was in the beginning and now it's just like all evened out. But um, yeah, surprisingly, baby boy is measuring on, well, my bump is measuring on just above the 50th centile. Um, and with Joel, I was always above the 97th centile. So I was definitely bigger with him. Um, so yeah, I really don't think baby is going to be very big, to be honest. Um, yeah, so I mean, I'm not huge for 36 weeks, considering I'm full term next week. I'm not like, you know, out here. I just feel huge everywhere else and I can't breathe half the time. I just put Incy Wincy Spider on for Joel for the 50th time this week. You're obsessed, aren't you? What's wrong? I put it on, darling. What do you want? He's going for a stage at the moment where he knows what he wants to watch on TV, but he can't tell me, and then he gets really frustrated. You want to try that one? Yeah. Okay, we'll try that one then. He can say yes and no, but he can't really, like, choose between them. So, yeah, we just go through about 50 things till he decides that he's found something he likes. I don't understand why people walk along the street with a mask on when they're on their own. Um... Yeah, especially when it's this hot. Sorry, I'm just people watching. Anyway, baby boy's heartbeat sounds fine. I completely forgot to get a video clip of it, but I'm sure if you guys are subscribers, you've seen it in my previous videos when I've had other midwife appointments. Um, but yeah, his heartbeat was really healthy. He's still head down, which is really good news because, um, oh God, let's turn this down. Jesus Christ. He was um, transversed for a little bit and I was getting really worried that I'd have to have a C-section and then we had a 4D scan, like re-scan, because they couldn't see him the first time and he had turned. So that was two weeks ago now and the midwife said he still had down. To be honest, I knew he was still head down because my pelvic pain has been quite bad um, and he just feels so low down and I'm going to the toilet all the time and yeah. So that's really good. I don't think he'll move again now. So that's good. Um, and yeah, I've got weekly appointments now. So normally you'd see them every two weeks from 36 weeks. But because my blood pressure went high at the end last time, they want to see me every week from now. Um, so yeah, I've got another check next week just for my blood pressure. And then my 38 week appointment the week after that. And I did my, um, went through like my birth plan today, but I'm not calling it a plan this time. It's birth preferences. Um, so yeah, that was that, but, um, I think we're just going to chill for the rest of the day now, guys. Steve's working late tonight, so it's just me and this little squish who's, I've just realised has stolen my drink, so I'm going to have to get another one. I really want an ice lolly, but he's going to, you're going to insist on having one. 
<laughs> smiling at me. If I have an ice lolly, he's going to want one or he's going to want mine. And I just can't be bothered with the mess. So I think I'm going to wait till later. The joys of being a toddler mum. I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog for the next two days because like I said, we're just at home not really doing anything. So the next time I catch you will probably be on Saturday. Uh oh, oh have you spilled some water? Yeah. Oh, Bubba. I'm sorry. Um, next time I see you will probably be on Saturday morning before my baby shower. Catch you later, guys. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday and it's baby shower day. Um, so yeah, I didn't end up vlogging the last two days, obviously, as you know. I've just realised that I've somehow got paint in my hair from, I'm hoping it's paint anyway, from when me and Joel were painting Easter eggs yesterday. So obviously I didn't have time to do anything about it. So I've just curled it, it's covered it up a bit. But all of my friends here that I'm going with today are all mums. So they honestly will just find it funny. Um, I've gone for the blue nails for baby boy. Um, I have not made my bed as you can see, but yeah, I've just got this. It's like a mid axi dress, so it doesn't come completely to the floor, but it's honestly so comfy for bump. It's not maternity, but I just got this from ASOS. Um, and yeah, it's so, so comfy. So I'm just waiting for my friend to arrive. She'll be about 10 minutes. And then we're gonna pick up another friend on the way. And then, yeah, we're heading over to my friend's house. I'm really, really excited. Um, obviously I'll try and get a few clips in there, but I'm not gonna be like vlogging today because I'm just gonna be enjoying the day with my friends this is awful honestly <laughs> it's all i can see now that i've spotted it i didn't even notice it last night um so yeah i will catch you guys a little bit later you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me wanna try forever and i feel so free Oh my sweet baby It's not long being back from my baby shower um, Steve's just popped to the shop with Joel and then he's going out for the evening so I will be taking over motherhood duties very soon I'm so tired I could literally sleep Space Kill's up at 2am being sick um, I think it was like a dodgy fish and chips takeaway that I had last night because no one else is poorly um, and it was only me that ate it. So yeah, that was fun. Um, but I'm actually, I was so worried I wouldn't be able to go today, but I'm actually fine. I've managed to eat and everything and I'm fine. Um, but I'm just really tired because obviously I was up like quite a lot in the night. Um, so I'm definitely ready for bed tonight. But yeah, it was such a lovely afternoon. Like it was so nice just to not have the baby says so we could all catch up properly and we were literally sat chatting for like five hours and eating cake um and then we did some like baby prediction games and yeah another one of um my friends that was there announced that she's pregnant with our second so there's now four of us out of our group that are pregnant with our second so yeah i'm really really excited that they're all gonna obviously we all have babies around the same time the first time this time they're a few months sort of like spread out but it's still really nice that we're kind of doing this together again and our maternity leaves are going to overlap and stuff so yeah that's lovely um some really cute presents as well i won't show you now it's mainly just like baby clothes and stuff um and then one of my friends got joel a big brother t-shirt which is really cute um so yeah and a few a few of them are going to wait till baby's here and then bring some stuff around but um yeah got some really cute little outfits for baby boy which i need to go and wash and sort out and put away um, but yeah, it was a really nice little afternoon. Obviously I didn't get much footage because I was just kind of enjoying my time um, and I'm rubbish at vlogging. Um, but yeah, that is my first week of maternity leave done, guys. Obviously it's Sunday tomorrow, so I'm gonna be putting up the next to me crib, I think, because it's all out of the loft now. But next week, um, probably towards the end of next week, my nest with me video will go live. So every, all of that will be in that video. I've actually been filming like two videos this week. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna chill now. Why do my boobs actually look massive when I'm laying like this? They're really not. Um, yeah, I'm literally just chilling here, feeling like a, a whale. I'm actually so pregnant right now. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you in the next video. Mwah.